as you could probably hear by the sizzling going on uh, over at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. And we're talking about uh, Albuquerque Restaurant Week right around the corner, David. Yes. Yes, we're very excited. Uh, starts on Monday. Mm -hmm. We're going to be having a beautiful three-course meal Ooh. for $30 a person. You'll have a choice between four stews or a kale salad. Okay. As well as what we're making today, which is our winter squash ravioli, Great. a blue corn chicken, a tribal trout, and then you'll have a bread pudding for dessert at the end. Wow. That sounds delicious. So can you walk us through the ingredients that we have laid out here? Yeah, so what we have over here, uh, we have some spinach. We're going to have our uh, pignons for a pignon sauce, okay. some pomegranate seeds to garnish with, some fresh lemon, and then our uh, winter squash ravioli. Wow. Okay. okay, so now you've got a couple of the ravioli working over here exactly. uh, in the pot. Is that right? Exactly. Okay. Now, what are you doing to, is that how you usually do it? I've, I've never made a ravioli, okay? So is usually this how open you the bag do? and pour it in <laughs> exactly. the boiling water. Yeah, Chef Boyardee That's Boyardee typically ravioli. how I do it, exactly. <laughs> so what I'm doing here, guys, is I have some salted water, mm -hmm. uh, and I have my ravioli in there, and it, we're just going to warm it up after it's been made. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to saute our spinach, and then we're browning off our butter with a little pignons to make the sauce that goes on top. Great. Okay, oh, so I want to talk a little bit about the pomegranate. This is typically something that is so incredibly difficult for me to open up. Is there a secret? trick to actually getting this pomegranate so you can get it out like this very lovely? Yes, so if you cut the pomegranate in half uh -huh. and you actually smack the back of it, say with like a spoon, okay. into some fresh water, all the pith will go away and you'll just have seeds sitting on the bottom. And you can just I put it through it. a strainer. Because I'm telling exactly. you, I just try, try just picking them out and it never works yeah. for me. Yeah, I usually, my kitchen ends up being uh, like a disaster flick. <laughs> At the end, there's just, you know, Remnants of a pomegranate shell all around, and then a couple of seeds. Okay. Exactly there. right. Yeah. All right. So, so tell us why you're using this as opposed to just putting it in the the pot of boiling water. Does it make it easier to get? Is exactly. That, is that the only reason so we're it, using that? It's just basically a strainer that I use. Okay. Uh, you can pull it out. Um, it makes it a lot easier, so you don't have to uh, burn your hands or anything like gotcha. that. Gotcha. Okay. Like uh, our floor director did a little while exactly. ago. Exactly. He discovered the hard way uh, that uh, pots get hot when they now, sit on the with oven. Now, with that with that sauce. You just put butter in there in the in the pinion, is that? Exactly. So I brown the butter a little bit, and then I throw pinions. Of course, I season it. Yes. Then we take a little bit of our fresh lemon. We're gonna okay. go right over the top over here, and then we just take a little bit of our pinions. Or I'm sorry, our pomegranate, pomegranate seeds. seeds. And we wow. just go right over the top right there. It's a real mix of flavors there. Exactly. All right. So now. Uh, because you guys have nothing better to do next week with exactly. Albuquerque Restaurant Week, you thought you would do something a little more, and you're actually pairing with a local craft brewery. Is that right? Exactly. So next Wednesday, March 9th, starting at 6 o'clock, we have our beer pairing dinner, which is 60 bucks a person, mm -hmm. five-course meal, and we're pairing it with my favorite brewery, Bosque. Okay. So what are some of the – is it going to be just one of their craft beers? Are they going to have a variety on, on stock depending on – what sort of dish that you're ordering, or is it just one of the beers that you have? So we'll actually have five beers, and five. each each okay. beer is designed to go with the specific course that it's been paired with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did you take the, the beer that you guys are having, the spirits that you guys have, and then you created a meal? Like, did you taste it first, and then you said, okay, I'm going to create something with these sort of flavors, or how, or did you just know something on your menu that automatically went with that? So what we did, Brittany, is we actually went down, we met with Jesse down at Bosque, okay. we actually tasted the beers, and then we developed a menu based off that. Got you. Okay. So now another thing, uh, again, I, I don't know when you sleep, David, because you've got a lot going on. Just uh, this week, I believe, the 505 Food Fights, the, the round two, right? This is round this two is that we're getting into. Or so, second season. So actually, yeah. yeah, the second season is starting. It's mm -hmm. going to start in about a month, uh, mm -hmm. April 7th. Uh, at my restaurant, okay. uh, we'll be benefiting the uh, IPCC, mm -hmm. and uh, we're really excited. You know, uh, season two. You know, we're hoping to raise some more money. Now, you know. if somebody, let's talk about what 505 Food Fights. I mean, we talk about it all the time here. But if somebody doesn't know what it is, give us the concept. So yeah, it's basically a one-on-one -on -one underground late-night competition between mm -hmm. uh, Albuquerque and Santa Fe chefs. Um, you get three mystery ingredients. You don't find out until the day of, mm -hmm. um, and then you have to create two courses based off those three ingredients, and you wow. get you get judged off that. Okay. Wow. So uh, now some of the chefs that are on are there some of the featured chefs? You just announced the the lineup. I know and a lot of them have actually graced the the Tucasa Kitchen before. Uh, 
not to not to play favorites, but why not? I like putting you on the spot. <laughs> Do you have favorites, or are there are there chefs that you're Come really on, excited Dad. to see what they bring to the table? <laughs> you know what? Why we, not? It's fun. It's Friday. Let's do it. We, I, there's definitely a few chefs that I'm very excited to see, and I think there's going to be some people who are definitely underrated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but you know, I'm not going to go out and say. Oh, no, I think. come on! How political of you? Exactly. You know, uh -huh. it's all for fun. It's to bring the culinary community together. It's to help the local charities of New Mexico, and, yeah. and that's what it's really all about. Yeah. So, uh, where can people find information on the 505 Food Fights and on New Mexico Restaurant Week? Okay, so you can go to uh, the New Mexico Restaurant Week uh, website. Okay. Um, you can also go to 505foodfight.com. You know, I definitely invite people to check out the uh, Pueblo Harvest uh, Cafe mm -hmm. um, online as well. We also will be having on April 6th a fry bread making uh, workshop. Really? If anyone's really? interested in making Is that, that something that's difficult to make? No, you, I think Don't, you should. Your voice chef. went up. <laughs> Your voice just went up. You, yeah. you guys should come down, check it out. Okay. It'll be uh, five to seven. It'll be fifteen dollars a person, uh, starting okay. at five again at the Pueblo Harvest Cafe inside the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. Fantastic. Uh, all right, I, I was looking for uh, some some porks here. I can't. I just I gotta try this. Is it hot? Is it gonna burn Ooh. your mouth? Wow. Is right. It good. Holy it's amazing. Moly. I don't remember the last time Chad had a reaction like that to food. That, <laughs> that is, awesome. is so. Good. So again, this is going to be part of New Mexico Restaurant Week exactly. at Pueblo Harvest. Pueblo Harvest Cafe. So again, guys, we're located um, just north of I-40 on 12th Street. Okay. You got to close your My mouth is full. If you guys want to have a reaction like this, you guys have to check out New Mexico Restaurant Week at their restaurant. Uh, their website and 505 Food Fight website will be on our website. Just head over to Casa.com. I yeah, want some of that. All right. Well, you got to do it like Casa this. Stay like, with us, folks. <laughs> We'll be right back here. Right, we can grab this for you, Britt. There you go. <laughs> no, it's not hot. I promise. It's not hot.